Good evening and welcome to the Town of Douglas Planning Board meeting for Thursday, February 9th, 2023. Time is 7 p.m. First item, Citizens Forum, call for public comment. Anyone here for that item? Seeing anyone on Zoom here for Citizens Forum? Seeing no hands. A&R is 57 U Street, Rachel Perkins and Paul Miller. Mr. Benoit, do you have any comments before the... Oh, okay. Someone's presenting. <coughs> you are muted, I think. Muted yourself. Yeah. We cannot hear you. You're unmuted, but your volume might be down on your machine. I hate that, the permissions. Mr. Benoit, looks like he has no comments, right? Well, well the good news, Madam Chair, is that uh, uh, Bill this A&R meets the requirements of regulations. <laughs> okay. All right. Board, any questions? What's that? I don't think so. No, no. no. What is parcel A? Good question. Uh, parcel A is a driveway to the Perkins lot across the back. This used to just run over the land. Call it a gentleman's agreement, so to speak. So this uh, eliminates that, but it, it's not a conforming lot, so it's labeled appropriately. It's not, not considered a building lot. Mm -hmm. And it could be still used as a driveway? It is a driveway. driveway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The only change that they had to make from what's in your packets to what's here is we had to add two additional, so many more signature lines. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I kind of think typical. <laughs> okay, I'll entertain a motion to endorse. I'll make a motion to endorse the ANR. Second. Yep, 57 U Street for Rachel Perkins and Paul Marks. Motion made by Mr. Socrat, seconded by Mr. Marks. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. All right, well, we could have heard you. You're welcome. Have a good night. Next item, public hearing. Application for accessory apartment. In accordance. Okay. In accordance with Mass General Laws, Chapter 40A, the Town of Douglas Accessory Apartment Zoning Bylaw, Section 3.3 and 9.3, the Douglas Planning Board is holding a public hearing on the application for David and Dallas Keeney regarding an accessory apartment special permit. The property location is 13 U Street, Assessor's Map 198, Parcel 24, Douglas Mass. The public hearing is being held on Thursday, February 9th, 2023 at 7 p.m in the Douglas Municipal Center Resource Room, 29 Depot Street, Douglas, Mass. Any person interested or wishing to be heard should appear at the time and place designated. Visit www.douglas-ma.gov for the agenda and Zoom information. A copy of the application is available for review during normal business hours in the Douglas Community Development Department, 29 Depot Street, Douglas, Mass. 01516. Okay, who is here presenting for this project? Oh, yeah, I think so. Hold on one moment, please. Are we muted? Over there. Is that, is the TV muted? Okay. Let me try to change the speakers. Okay. Okay, and Mr. Socrat, you said that this was all set? It meets all the requirements for 
footage, it looks like an accessory apartment should be a CD problem to, uh, you know, support this. Um, Madam Chair. Any other board? Yes. Uh, one comment. This was an approved accessory apartment by this board. This is just right. ownership. So oh, okay. That's why they're Okay. All right. Very good. Even better. Okay. Um. Try and see if it. Can you see if we can hear you? Test, could you say something? Can you hear us? No? No, she can't hear us. Oh, no. I don't know. I, I can hear you a little bit now. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, we were just reviewing. Um, did you want to speak on this application? Is there anything I need to answer about it for you? I don't think that appears to be the case. Everything looks in order and it's already been approved previously. So if board members don't have any other comments, I'll entertain a motion to grant the special permit. Any abutters? Mm -hmm. Oh, any abutters? No. Make a, I'll entertain a motion to close the public hearing. So moved. Made by Mr. Schultzberg. Second. Second by Mr. Zwicker. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Was that the close to public hearing? Yes. Yes. Aye. And then to grant. I'll make a motion to grant the accessory apartment application A 230109, 13 U Street. Second. Motion made by Mr. Schultzberg. Seconded by Mr. Socrat. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, good luck. Lost my agenda. Next item on the agenda is additional business pine sand and stone earth removal permit extension for area E. Who would like to present? Name and address. Murray Driscoll, Pine Sand and Stone, One Lackey Dam Road, Douglas. We come before the board to do our annual renewal for Area E. Uh, probably ongoing for about almost 10 years now. So we're getting to the end of things. Uh, we have another 120,000 yards of material to excavate. Uh, we'd like to move into a slightly different area of the, uh, of the pit. So that's what the, the plan shows and that's what we're asking for. Okay. Thank you. Board, any questions? No. Uh, does, does Andy have anything? Okay. No, I think so. All right. Anybody? Want a motion to grant the one-year extension? For permit yeah. ER 14 0129 for pine, sand, and stone. And that is area E. Motion made by Mr. Zwicker. Second. Second by Mr. Greco. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, accessory apartment extension, 94 Pine Street. Mr. Benoit, any issues with the extension request? I did not have any issues here. This was one of the larger ones in which we granted a waiver over a 900 square feet. Okay. Uh, they're just going to have a different tenant, but it is part of the family. Okay. Board, any comments or concerns? If not, I will entertain a motion to grant the extension. So moved. Motion made by Mr. Schultzberg. Second. Second by Mr. Zwicker. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you. LPA hours FEMA map. Uh, Madam Chair, we have two late additions to the agenda. It's totally up to you if you want to take these or not. Mm -hmm. um, but um, I respectfully ask if we can move down to 8A. Okay. Lot releases? Yes. Okay. There's a lot release um, that you may have in your packets. It's a request that we received from. Um, 
Kathleen Windsor, document dated February 7th. I believe the owners of the property are here this evening. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we have a, a little bit of an odd situation here. So um, this was a private uh, compound mm -hmm. for a three lot subdivision mm -hmm. that was started in 2006. Mm -hmm. um, this particular home already has a house on it, but the lot was never released from cover. Yep. Um, I don't know how that wasn't cut the first time you bought the property, but it wasn't. <laughs> but now I think it's the time where you're trying to sell the property. Yeah. And the title examiner They're cut. cut. Okay. Um, one of the questions that came up was regarding drainage. Uh, I was speaking with uh, uh, Ms. Schlesman about this kind of right before the meeting started. And I was curious whether or not the drainage would still be governed once the lot is released and it is governed by a homeowner association <laughs> seemingly in perpetuity. So that yep. seems to be covered. Um, the issue I have is that there is no bond for this project. The collateral that the board has for the road to be finished was the lots. Mm -hmm. And there's three lots. One of them did, was not part of the covenant because the developer lived at that house, lives at that house currently. So the house that was constructed, and there is one more vacant lot. So if the board wishes to release this lot, the only collateral we hold is the other lot which is undeveloped and has not been built on. I don't see any issues with that. I just want the board to be aware of the situation. Okay, what is the status of the road as far as finish? It is poor. Okay, and it services the two homes or just, just two. this? Okay. Mm -hmm. So the developer should finish that road and if that road is not finished in the opinion of this board, we could seize lot two and a sale if through I'm auction. Asked. Through the chair. Do, it that way. do you have a particular value of the improvement to that road at all? No. no, but it is something the board may want to pay attention to moving forward. I doubt it's been developed, or we may want to send a letter to the developer asking for an update. Yes. Um, and what's the safety of the roadway to this home? To this home? Yes. Uh, we don't have any. I don't see it. No major issues? Issue there. No, no issues? No issues. Okay. If I may ask another question, yeah. just because I want yeah. to know something. When the, the the owners bought the house, should have been caught back then. Too. It should have been caught before a building permit was issued. Oh, absolutely. And all of that. I mean, how did, it's just curious how that just Me too. That happened. It was the boom uh -huh. too. Mm -hmm. It yeah. was the boom. People moving fast. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think. I, mean, uh, I think it's fair that we release this one lot and then request an update. How many years has it been? At least tw almost 20, probably. The project was approved and covenant established in 2006. <clears throat> I mean, I, after that many years, I think definitely look at what's going to cost to finish that road. Mm -hmm. right, we have the teeth in that last lot, right? Yeah. That's, that's, definite. that's all we have left. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, honestly, releasing the last one problem, I think. Finding out what's going to go on here is mm -hmm. should be a priority. Mm -hmm. After that, because before long you're going to have a gravel road. Mm -hmm. It's only got key base down or whatever. It's going to turn to marbles. That's all it is now. But you said that there is sorry, the uh, there's a homeowners association. Yes. And has there been any funds? You know, like homeowners for maintenance or anything. Uh, I mean, that's that's separate towards from improvement. It's not under yeah. our. It's required. Right. in the homeowners association when it was set up but we don't, we wouldn't know any money but they they would be responsible for oh sure all of them collectively. anyway yes. yeah right and that's in the agreement yeah so that's another thing that if the road is in ill repair mm. they do have the responsibility to maintain and repair it on their own so it's there's two right two band-aids there for the so, chair, so there's, mm -hmm. but there's only one house. Two. Two. But, but that will not be part of this, correct? No, they will. The so the, the developer has one, and then this number four is the second one. So right. there are two houses in that homeowners association. Right. So if the road needs to be repaired, it would be their responsibility to pay for it. But that covenant, I don't believe, is in any of their documentation from when they purchased that home. It may not be, but it is recorded. Yeah, it's recorded. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what I'm saying is we've got the one lot, 
let's just say if it needs to be repaired, we have that one lot. If they want to come and build, have a building permit, they need to repair the road. But we also have this homeowners association that is set up, yeah. that's firm yeah. that they need to put money in to repair, say a catch basin or something like that. Right. So the new owners will have to be aware of the fact that this is in a homeowners association if they are not currently aware of that. And it's yes. In, it's in their deed. It's so in their deed. transfer. Yes. So we got it. Mm -hmm. oh. Covenant's not typically referenced in the deed because the covenant's mm -hmm. uh, a lot's usually released before we get that far. So, right. yes. Yeah. You get a letter out to the uh, developer. <coughs> So I will entertain a motion to release lot one. In the Northwood subdivision. Yep. So moved. Motion made by Mr. Zwicker. Second. Second by Mr. Marks. All those in favor? Aye. Aye, Steve. And one abstention, Mr. Schultzberg. Okay, good luck. Good luck. Hey, thank you. Yeah, we're, we're some of the, some of the problems. You're not going to Yes. Talking to I will get her a letter of response to the record of this action this evening. Okay. Oh, you get it? Yes. Yep. Thank you, people. Thank All right, thank you. Welcome. Have, have a good you. night. Have a good night. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, okay. Madam Chair, I have one other item that's yeah. coming under the radar. Uh -huh. uh, I have a letter from Attorney Henry Lane, dated February 8th. Uh, this board, uh, Lakewood Estate Subdivision, is the former subdivision under the AMP Solar Project up on Wall Lake Road. This board voted to rescind that subdivision in 2020. However, the covenant was not rescinded. So a little bit of a housekeeping item for us mm -hmm. to remove the covenant that is still governing land that, for a subdivision that was rescinded. Okay. So. No problem. Go for it. So moved. To rescind the covenant for Lakewood Estate Subdivision. Yep. yep. Pause. Um, what is the genesis of the request? Probably title. There's a solar farm there. Okay. Same thing. Yep. They got found going through a title deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, there must be a smarty pants somewhere picking all these things up. <laughs> Motion made by Mr. Zwicker. Seconded by. Was it Mr. Socrat? Sure. Did you second it? Sure. Yes. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. That's all I have for unscheduled. Life. Okay. LPA hours, FEMA map. Okay. So, um, at our last meeting, last year, December 8th, we discussed uh, some modifications to a FEMA bylaw. Uh, recommended to us by the Department of Conservation and Recreation mm -hmm. of the state. Um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> one of the questions that came up, I believe Ms. Sharkey asked this um, from the Zoom, was if we could petition CMRPC for any sort of technical assistance to help us with this. Um, while we can't get technical assistance to help with the bylaw revision itself, CMRPC did offer to update our uh, FEMA map. Now, it's not something that DCR uh, says that we need to do, but ours hasn't been updated. Yeah, since 2007. <laughs> and I just took a whole bunch of maps down in the community development meeting room mm -hmm. that were from 1994. <laughs> and I'd like to put some nice fresh things on the walls and this might be a good one. So knowing we only get 12 hours a year, um, Matt Franz at CMRPC said he could uh, allocate three hours for it. We still have nine hours left for technical assistance for other items as needed. I think that's okay. a good idea. Yeah. Because people look at it and look at that wrong information, what good is it? <laughs> right. You know, yeah. it's scrap paper. So I, you need instead of answering them, I was hoping the board would uh, provide a motion so I could make it more official. I'll make a motion to allow new maps to be made for the Concom room. Motion made by Mr. Zwicker. Second. Second by Mr. Schultzberg. All those in favor? Uh, aye. 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 Okay. Sounds exciting. Do we have to do any more discussion on the floodplains? Yes, we can cover that in bylaws and regulations. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's not the end of it. Oh, no. Oh, okay. no. All right, oh. bylaws and regulations. Okay, so. <laughs> so the what we were able to get was, uh, or at least last meeting, 
in between our last meeting and now, I submitted our Section 8.3 to the Department of Conservation and Recreation. They provided us with some feedback. And you'll see these in this heavy printout we have here, some of their comments in the columns to the right. I don't know if it printed the way I wanted it to, but ultimately, they made a lot of recommendations here that you'll see, hopefully in color, mm -hmm. on some of these. Yep. Yeah, sheets with the changes that they're recommending. So it's the model bylaws on top, and then their recomm recommendations to section 8.3 are the last few pages. Of ours. Yes. I have made many of these changes and resubmitted back to them. I submitted it on Monday, um, hoping that they would get back to me with some feedback before this meeting, but they did not. So what's good here is that they are going to provide us with the review process and once they are okay with it, I'm gonna bring a semi, call it 90% complete bylaw to us to put the finishing touches on it. Mm -hmm. The mandatory requirements are certain definitions, certain dates, mm -hmm. and those changes have been made. And I was just looking for their feedback on a couple of other items. Yeah. So the blue highlight is? Comments from DCR. You know, that's on the side. Mm -hmm. Yep. Blue highlights on the pages mm -hmm. is what stuff that's been added? No, that's there. what they're referring to with their comments. Okay. And what's the red all about? And some of the red are definitions that need to be removed or it's just their comments. So when you see this page, it starts with a red text yeah. on a header. It's like the second to last page. Okay. They list a lot of the components that need to be either added or removed. And that's a lot of the stuff I took care of already took care of how? Uh, added it into the new master document. Removed the definitions that no longer needed to be necessary. Added the ones that we didn't have and I sent her that document for their review. So those are the mandatory things that we need to get out and then if there's things that we want to add after the fact, happy to do that with you guys. But I was I was really hoping to get their comments back before the meeting today. Fortunately did not. However, it's good to know that they're acting as a reviewing authority for us. So Perfect. We're gonna lean on that as much as we can. Mm -hmm. um, the issue is, I forget exactly what it is, but we have to we have to put this in front of Springtown or else we lose, and I'm forgetting what it's called, but we lose uh, some sort of status with the state for uh, having these, these things updated. There's 14 towns doing this concurrently with us, so. Since we're in the Quinnebog watershed, all 14 of them are doing this at the same time, including us. <coughs> okay. This will have to be ready for Springtown meeting, and I, I anticipate it will be. So, more of an update, more than interactive work for us this evening. Good start. Yeah, it was yeah, more than I expected. Yeah, 2007. And then the rules and regs print out. Everyone now should have a cup. All right. Mm -hmm. Great. I still can't believe we're in the point about water. I know. Where's that? Okay. Any ongoing development updates? Um, yes. First one on that list is uh, Blue Wave Solar at Oak Street. They have started uh, setting up their road control measures. We engaged two different consultants, one from Conservation, Art Allen from Ecotech, and uh, Haley Ward, uh, Doug Bush, who we've been using from Lenard Engineering for many of our review projects uh, to review on our behalf as, as the planning board. Um, they both did their first site inspection so far. We noticed some issues with erosion control measures. I'm sure they brought this up at Kaka. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the neighbors called with some concerns about some sheet flow, and they had to go back out and make some corrections. Um, ultimately, the update is, is we now have two uh, conservation specialists and a uh, engineer uh, monitoring the project for us from the beginning that will continue to provide us updates throughout construction. So, that's, that's that one. Got a lot of eyes on it. Very much so. And including residents in Sutton. Or Oxford, whatever. Sutton. Yeah. Crawl. Okay. Otherwise, uh, Evergreen Estates uh, made it back onto this list. That's Thomas Circle off of South Street. 
Mm -hmm. The only reason this made this back on the list, if that was proper English, is someone's interested in it. Someone is interested in acquiring it and finishing it. I guess that's been sitting defunct for quite some time. I wouldn't know as well as you all would, but that's a lot of road and stormwater management that's been sitting untouched for many years. Yeah, quite mm -hmm. a few years. Yeah. It's also been identified that its uh, basins have been full, sacks have been full. You guys might have even went out recently and cleared those. I could be wrong. Um, there's uh, silt sacks that are overflowing, water sending it into South Street, possibly compounding some of the drainage issues that we already know about over there. Yeah, I, I, huh? I cleaned the two catch bases at the end of this development just the other day. Yeah, there you go. And I removed mm -hmm. the bag, so mm -hmm. they're taking water now. That's good. So uh, coming off that development, it's supposed to go underground and into a system across the street, but it's been sheep flowing right down the street and going down South Street towards some of these other areas. I'm not saying that's solving a South Street problem that we know that we have, but it's definitely going to help. But I only brought that up is because someone's finally interested in purchasing it, and I'd love to see that happen. Yeah. So, <laughs> I see that get finished. Uh, someone, But um, in the conversations we had, they were looking at doing a 55 plus community uh, without an affordability component. Now, what was approved includes affordability under our flex development bylaws. Yeah. A lot of communities for 55 plus bylaws have an option to, instead of doing affordable component, to contribute funds to an account for the town. It's more like paying to not have to do affordables. Um, Natick has it, many, many communities have it. Um, we don't have such a bylaw. So it's possible that these folks that are interested in this property may be pitching to us a draft 55 plus bylaw with an equation in it to add uh, so that they contribute to a fund and avoid the affordability component. Just want to give the information. I'm not sure how I feel about that given we're so far under the 10%. We need the affordable components in our developments. <clears throat> so losing it is not helping her. Counterproductive. Yeah. <laughs> but Sorry, through the chair, mm -hmm. Matt, um, what would that money be earmarked for? Usually it goes into a housing production plan trust or, or something for acquiring properties. We don't have a land bank committee or anything like that, so we'd have to get pretty creative with it. Yeah, uh, it was on the town administrator for that. One time we worked with the developer in the same scenario, and it was supposed to be used for drainage in sidewalks and sure. stuff like that in other parts of the town. Right. So okay. you can you mm -hmm. can use that money for repairs anywhere. No. So that doesn't help the spirit of what they're trying to accomplish. Right. Ten percent is an unattainable goal. Yeah. So um, yeah, and I didn't know fifty five plus required the affordable housing units. It doesn't. Our flexed bylaw does. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. So yeah. if we adopt it, because we had a draft fifty five plus last year, mm -hmm. so we should really adopt the fifty five plus because uh, I don't think. You can get around that that uh, approved special permit as it's written to do to switch it around. Right, without coming back to a modification. Yeah, right. yeah. So I think that we focus on doing the. I mean, we need we need older housing also. I mean, 55 is not uh, old, I but have no objection to that. Um, we need that housing also. <laughs> uh, so. So that's what that's what's going on there just so we're all aware yeah no i think that assisting I, if, something if, that works with the numbers yeah. i mean it is a long roadway and if they can fix the infrastructure that's yeah. aged and get the aging population some housing yeah. um, i think that would work so if we could maybe adopt we have that ready for spring Maybe. I don't know if we could, well, only because it's a lot of components. We don't have a housing production plan for one. All right, that really hurts us. But we're talking about a two-month turnaround on a bylaw. It's going to feel rushed by the time it's a town meeting floor. Uh -huh. You know. So far, I've we, we rushed by loss three times. Yeah. I want to do yeah. it again. Yeah, yeah, we did start so. looking at it. <laughs> we did. Right? And then yeah, because there was a, there was a, I don't know if it's the same group, but it was a group of people that yeah. came in and yeah. asked about I saw it briefly. 55 for that. Yeah. So I don't know if it's the same group purchasing it or not. It's not. 
No, it's not. It's a different group? Okay. Yes. So, yeah, we really should work on doing that. And there, you're right, there are a lot of components to it. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. I, I never liked rushing bylaws just to get them done for an annual meeting. Because you always It should be something. done in brought to tell me because it's done and, right. and not rushed. Yeah, with the, with housing and affordability, I like to run those sorts of things by consultants Yeah, that deal with that stuff on a regular basis. So that might be something we're looking for funding for. I don't know. So yeah. mm -hmm. we do have to update our master plan at some point and that stuff goes hand in hand. Yeah. So yeah. Well, they could always do a citizen's petition or they could. That's what they might do. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I mean, we've got all the surrounding towns have 55 plus. I mean, Oxbridge has a very good one. They've had, yep. they have multiple um, 55 plus communities. So we're similar. I mean, they're yeah. more commercial, but. Get a copy of their bylaw and mm -hmm. see what. Just, they I mean, have. they're most alike to it us. Works. I mean, if, we if can you get somebody physically going. go there, yeah, you can see that yeah. 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 it was a successful project. Yeah. And we don't currently prohibit 55 plus. It's something they could do. It's just our flex has that affordability component with no other alternative. Yeah, and mm -hmm. it's not something we can waive because it's sitting in the zoning bylaw. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We can move it to subdivision regs. We can waive it. But. <laughs> they can go to ZBA. Could do that too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, <coughs> anything else? Uh, not on ongoing development. No. Okay. Meeting minutes. Has anybody reviewed? How's White and making out? White and Uh, never know. We should no, be wrapping up pretty soon. Too. Yeah, they. We still left about what twenty four thousand in the bond account, so that's that's sitting until they can do the final items in the spring, and then they're gonna have to pitch to the selectmen prior to October first to get the road for acceptance. Next May, that's on two thousand twenty four. Okay. I just so they got a little time, yeah. But yeah, they, we, we're still holding about 25k just for those little button-up items. What are we talking about? Last meeting, meeting. Um, Whitens. Oh, nice. Okay. Was a letter sent out? Yeah, I took a right up here the out. other day. They've come a long way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah. why I was just asking how yeah. Yeah. <coughs> they're working on going for yeah. the road and all good. that kind of stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and was a road uh, to the chair. Was a letter sent out? To um, out of Route 16, about to drive through window in the parking lot. I believe, yeah, I believe it came. I, I believe I sent an email to him. So, yeah, I'll double check that. Though. Okay. Might have been a letter. I think. All right. Everyone have time to review the minutes of October 13th. I did 13, October 13. Okay. All right. Uh, anybody else have objection or anything? I'll uh, make a motion for October 13. I think uh, we've got a couple of, typos. Yeah, um, under additional business, cemetery commission letter. Um, third line down buffer zone, sort of buffer zone. Uh, one of our major concerns, uh, if should be is. Okay. And then you in that sentence just um, for the Baker Cemetery because there is a gravel pit right there. So there should be an A in there. Okay. Okay. That's what I got. All right. Mr. Kirko, do you want to make the motion? Uh, yeah, I'll make a motion that we approve the meeting minutes of October 13, 2022, uh, as amended. Motion made by Mr. Greco. Second. Second by Mr. Marks. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. I don't think, I think the other ones are brand new to us. The other meeting members. Okay. You want to hold to the next meeting? Yeah, unless somebody else is put that up.
didn't see anything jump out of me, so I'll make a motion to approve the October 27th meeting minutes. Motion made by Mr. Feltzberg. Second. Second by Mr. Marks. All those in favor? Aye. 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 <coughs> Aye. Sorry, I'll never go. There was one where you joined late, so I didn't know if there was that one there. No, I think I was absent. Okay. The next one, the December one, I think I was late. Yeah, I'm going to restart the one that I kind of didn't Oh, then I came here? I was no, in you person? Were, you're on the Late? I don't know if it was this one or another one. I don't know. I don't, I don't remember. Miss, I would have remembered this stuff, Mr. Burnett, because that was a lawsuit. Yeah, no, I definitely wasn't at this one. Any comments, questions? November 10th? She has recording likely, but it is really good. Yes. Yes, we appreciate her. Um, this is under November 10th. Uh, first page. Yep, price and cheap. 4B. 4B. Um, our consultant from Lenard Engineering. Is it Lenard? Which one are you on? November 10th? Yeah. 4B on November 10th. That should be. It's Lenard, right? Yep. Oh, that's such a little thing, though. It is. <laughs> I know a David Menard, so it can't be him. <laughs> Good catch there. Entertain a motion. If anybody wants to go home tonight. November 10th, uh, I'll make a motion to approve as amended uh, Menard. Which are made by Mr. Schultzberg, second by Mr. Socrat. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Abstain. Madam Chair, one other yeah. thing. Yes. It snuck into our packet. Um, our last meeting, um, 
We had received correspondence about a property in town uh, it was intent to convert Chapter 61 B land. Yes. And it was an incomplete uh, submission to us at the time. Yes. So the letter was amended and, well, ultimately uh, the selectmen got to it for us mm -hmm. and they voted to uh, uh, not to pursue the property and that letter was included in your packet. Just yes. wanted to explain. Okay, very good. Entertain motion. So moved. Motion made by Mr. Marks to adjourn. Second. Second by Mr. Schultzberg. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you very much.